Chief is a family-owned, Nebraska-based company comprised of seven diverse brands. Chief, trusted, tested, true. Good morning, everybody. If you are new to the channel, my name is Laura, and behind me is a 1965 4020. I just recently purchased this off Facebook Marketplace. It is the cheapest um, old tractor that I could find on there that does sort of run and drive. We had an expert on old tractors come out to the farm this morning. Here is us together. But that's not gonna cause any problems. Okay. Just gotta cap it off. Don't start it, because you'll have oil. All, <laughs> everywhere. Over, all over everywhere. So in other words, you have power beyond all the, yeah, power for the loader all the time. Gotcha. So if I want to take the loader, I'll just cap that. Yeah, you just take this off, or take it off here and go. That's so in the cab, there's two levers for, for valves back here. Is that normal? Because there's just one. Well, you only got one box. No, there's two boxes. Where the hell's the other one going? Yeah, I don't know. <coughs> See, on a closed center system like this, anything you use has to go back into the turner. And he has a bunch of these. He knows a lot more about old John Deere tractors than I do. So he ran me and Grant through some possible problems that this might have and also is going to order some stuff like a carb rebuild kit and just kind of looked us over this thing. He's going to be helping us learn how to fix this John Deere tractor up. If you know anything about these tractors, it is that this loader did not come on it and neither did this cab. And actually he was talking about how one, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to access the sides and the underneath parts and work on this thing properly. But also he was saying this cab can really give you a false sense of security because first off, it's kind of fallen apart already but uh, these doors don't really latch and it is so, so loud in here with this cab on. So we're going to get this taken off and we'll see how it looks. The next part, once we get it taken off and get it running better, we are looking for some fenders for it. The person that we bought these from says that he has them hiding in some trees somewhere. So hopefully that's true, but we'll get some original fenders back on this thing. Some things that he pointed out that I didn't really notice was how rare it was that these three point pins moved and weren't completely rusted shut. So that was really nice and either side moves which is great. We have some cleanup to do. This tractor came from a farm that had some cattle. They used this tractor to move bales around. So we have some net wrap to cut out from these axles. And then we obviously need to get this thing nice and washed up. He was mentioning it's important to keep parts like the brakes here dirt can get in here and these things can get rusted out so something to keep an eye on but all in all he was pretty impressed with the condition of this old thing we were looking at some stuff and he took this side panel off and he could not believe how straight it was usually these things get really beat up so this yellow frame down here that the battery is sitting on is attached to the loader and it comes up here on this step luckily this part of the cab is not welded on to the frame of the loader. So in theory, this cab should just lift right off. The idea is that we have these chain hoists in the shop and there's a few bolts that we need to remove, but then should just be able to pick it up and lift it off. Hopefully it goes as smoothly as that. stuff there. Um, can you help me with these bolts? Yeah, of course. Here's what the inside of our cab looks like here. See that that bright shiny paint? The yellow thing is a box scraper. The red thing is our little mower. Come around here. Got a nice cushy seat. 
I'll be honest, I'm a little bit grateful for the cab because it has saved the condition of this seat pretty well, which is nice. And there's actually a little buddy seat, which I think is pretty cute. All right, ready? Yep. When you are. There we go. All right. I'm just gonna set these over here. So I didn't, my thoughts were up in the air about this loader, but the old guy that came and looked this over confirmed my suspicions. He said this was a junky loader and that we needed to take it off because it was uh, not good. And we have two, we have a really nice Bobcat and a really nice JLG that we used to lift things. And if I'm lifting stuff with this, there's a good chance I'll be underneath of it. And with these old hoses and junky brackets, I don't think that's very safe. So we're just gonna do away with the loader for now. If this tack is right, I have a little over 6,000 hours on it. If I'm right, I think there's just over 7,000 of these tractors made. I think the only thing older than this tractor is that hoist. <laughs> that thing is old. You hop up on the other side, I'll hand you the chain. Yep. This thing should be ready for takeoff. Okay, three, two, one, right? Yep. So we're nice and slow. Alright, we gotta wait until it gets there. You can take it down. Hey! Here we go! There we go. Just wiggle it back. Come to the right a little bit. Ooh, pull it back. Hey, 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 hey. Look at that. Yeah, that's good. My new deer stand. Wow, it looks like a totally different tractor. What Come do you down. guys think? Team no cab, right? Oh, yeah. How easy is that to get into now? I was just about to say, it's so much easier to get into. Now we're talking. I'm looking on the seat. It says tall and short for the adjustments. That's so cute. And look at this. Grant, open her up. We got a toolbox built in. That's Comes so complete sweet. with a bird nest. All right, everybody, the time has come. The loader is coming off. Upon further investigation, it's probably a really good thing we're taking this off because most of the bolts are loose or broken on it. So I don't think it's really safe to use anyways. So this is mounted like to the frame of the tractor, but we can't take this off. First, we need to unbolt this here. And then there's another one, another two under here. And then the same on the other side. And then we're going to kind of roll the tra tractor backwards. We use the chain hoist again to kind of hold the loader up so we can get it out. And then once that's removed, we can take this frame off. Called in some extra manpower for this one. We've got Gage helping us out today. It's got square nuts. <laughs> When's the last oh. time you used a square nut? You're a square nut. Oh, we need someone on the backside spinning. Pepper has resumed her usual position. She has claimed the forklift seat as her own. She is perched up here, all tucked in. You can see a little pause. And, oh, whoa, feeling feisty this morning? Huh? Um, what's the next size up? These nuts are so loose. Yeah, I know. I honestly, I think I could just take it off. I don't even think I need this. It's kind of sad. This is just this barely. just too sketchy. Barely hanging on there. Kind of nice, actually. I was not expecting this to be. I was expecting it to be super rusty. How's it going under there? Comfortable. Don't 
Don't hit him in the face. <laughs> Watch out, dude. <laughs> Gonna have this thing off in no time. I think this loader used to be red at one point. I don't know exactly what brand it is, but I do not think this is a John Deere brand loader. Our 1516s have been missing for two years. We've been using the press wrench for every 1516s uh, application. I'm pretty sure it's in the planter box, if I had to guess. That is the ratchet that bought me a dirt bike and oh, one. kind of put me through college, one actually. Inch? Show me yeah. that thing, Grant. This ratchet, that's the one that I used to service pivots with you. You remember yeah. all those days? Harbor Freight. Man. This thing's the best ratchet ever. And it's plastic, I don't know, it's like coated plastic. It's like rubber. It's and pretty, pretty nice you actually. Squint, it's snap on. <laughs> you just have to squint. <laughs> we're not, we're not quite to snap on level. We're definitely still at the Harbor Freight. so you don't have to hold the wrench uh, I could try I guess the box there. maybe but I just don't know if it would stay up there you think that would stay up there oh yeah it would stay on I don't know what the spring okay let's try it ready yep you get it one there's one Oh, machine is seasoned. Got it. I cannot say how grateful we are to have this chain hoist in the shop. When we first moved in, I didn't think we would ever find use for it, but we find ourselves using it more often than not. It is so handy. When we took the cab off, someone was nice enough to have already installed little hooks on the top. So it made threading a chain through and getting it off really easily. So now we are just going to use those chains and hold the loader up while we pull it off. Did we get everything disconnected that we should have? That's what I'm looking at. No. <laughs> that would explain it. Lower it down. Got a little too excited. There we go. Nice. Some quality welding. Yes. So does this have to come out? So this can come through? Like what in the world? Well, so they welded that bolt on there. Yeah. Oh. There you go. Hey. There nice. Got it. And I got uh, this piece to come off as well. Does not have good penetration. There you go. So all the mounts, all the hoses should be free now. And um, yeah, so we'll need to snake these hydraulic hoses. See if you can get that bar off. Okay. Got that free. There we go. Ooh, that was an icky zip tie. There you go. Okay. should be free now. Fingers, fingers clear? Yeah. Can we just slide or, the loader forward? Yeah, I was gonna say, we could slide this forward. Can we? Can we both lift it and pull, you uh, and I? I can keep both on. go look at it it's so clean looking now now we're talking oh it's so much better i cannot wait to get this thing off that was a good move take that loader off yeah nice there we go ready yep oh, 
<laughs> At least it's loose on this side. Glad no one was under there. How pathetic. Come on, there, there we go. go. Wow. Dramatic. Can I nominate you to cut all the baling twine off the axle? Oh, really? I thought we were going to like rock, paper, scissors for that. Mm -hmm. It'll look very much fun. I think the sawzall is alive under there. Yeah. Kind of went through some stuff. Eee. Who's going to clean up all that? Not it. You? I'll cut the baling twine off if you guys clean up that. How I'll about that? <laughs> I'm going to go find the fenders for this thing. Sure, okay. Stuff is so wound in there. So it's not only wrapped up, but there's like dirt that's packed in there. But I'm actually kind of getting it. Well, Pepper's so found a new seat. Shit. What are you doing up there, huh? Keeping a sharp eye. So always watching. I actually think you got the tail end of it. Look at that. These Milwaukee scissors work pretty well. We're getting all the ranch out of this thing. Seriously, we're on a farm now, baby. So much grossness packed in here. Just trying to dig some of it out before we power wash it. Stuff's gonna go everywhere. Ugh. Like scooping ice cream. I'm sad. The time has finally come to finish our box scraper project. Going to put the tires back on and the cylinder got sent back to us and it is fixed. So we can uh, reattach that and put the hoses back on. All right, our repair hydraulic cylinder ready to go in. Oh, here's <laughs> <up> here. <laughs> I wonder if we could use that big one on the top one. Okay. We got the top one. Mm -hmm. And the bottom should we, one. Which one should we put in there? Let's go middle. middle. I feel like the middle is safe one. Ready? Okay. Okay. You got it there? Oh, that's so good. Do you go up any throat? Let's try this again. Don't try it. Slip. Lift the legs off the back. Is this one we want to go into? So much better. So much better. Oh. That was way harder than it should have been. <laughs> Got it. Ugh. Oh, man. Professionals. Seriously. Very professional. <laughs> very, very professional. Very right professional. Here. What are you craving right now? Right now. Do you have lunch already? Yeah. What'd you yeah. eat? No. What'd you, what'd you, no, you haven't? No, have you? No. What? Um, I had a, a questionable chicken patty. 
Didn't you have a chicken patty yesterday? No, two days ago. Probably. How often do they serve you chicken patties? Quite often. Tires are on, cylinder is hooked up, and so are the hoses. In theory, this thing should be fully functioning. Get the tire put on the mower here. There we go, nice.